Hello, it's Paul from Mode 7 here. Welcome back to another Tokyo 42 video. In my previous video, I showed you the difference between stealth and aggression in the game, so go and have a look at that one if you haven't seen it yet. What I'm going to show here is just an early area. So this is the first gang stronghold that you approach in the game. Now, there are quite a few of these throughout. You normally have to traverse them to get to your next mission objective, and you can do that either by sneaking through, as I'm going to show here, or by fighting through aggressively. This was one of the first sort of open areas to be developed during the course of developing the game. And I remember the first time I saw it, it was pretty exciting. It really showed you the flexibility of how you can approach things in the game, but also some of the mechanical elegance. What I'm doing here is a lot about reading the terrain, avoiding those view cones, and just finding that path through. It's a completely different approach to what I'll show you in a minute, which is an aggressive, sort of forceful approach trying to draw enemies out. So I'll just jump off the bridge there to kill myself. And we'll go back here. Now I've played this section lots and lots of times and one of the things that I love is that as soon as everything kicks off, you can see they're trying to find the source of that grenade there and then they're attacking me. As soon as everything kicks off, the situation becomes totally dynamic. And this is why you don't need to have a huge number of mechanics in your game in order to create an interesting dynamic situation. I think Tokyo 42 is a mechanically elegant game. I'm not just saying that because we're publishing it. Obviously, I'm going to talk nicely about it, but I've had to play it a lot recently for bug testing, and there's something that just keeps coming back to me, and that's the fact that as soon as you do something to engage with one of these situations, engage with one of these strongholds, as I die to an unexpected bullet, unexpected things can happen, and they're being produced by not millions and millions of different mechanics and guard distraction and security systems and hacking and all of this stuff that everyone wants to put into every game. They're actually being produced by a real attention to detail from the developers, a real sense of making sure that the game feels right, making sure that the combat is accurate and precise, making the mechanics meaningful. This is something that's really important to us at Mode 7. When we started publishing games, we wanted those games to reflect you know, our value as developers. And meaningful mechanics is something that characterizes, I think, all of the work that we've done to date. Tokyo 42 embodies those kind of ideas, and I think the reasons for that are its heritage and its influences. So Smack have talked about Worms and Syndicate as influences on the design. Worms was released in 1995, Syndicate 1993, and this game is Cannon Fodder, which was also released in 1993. And I feel like there's some values in that era which have been embodied in Tokyo 42 in an interesting way. Again, something that we at Mode 7 have been fascinated with for a long time. And there's a few things going on with these games. This is a sensible software game. And one of the hallmarks of their development was this attention to detail. If you just look at the pixel work, even just on the kind of grass areas here, you look at the little highlights on the guy's helmets, the names. Uh, one of the big features of this game was that every character had a name. And then if one of them died, they got a little gravestone and they had to be replaced by a new recruit that you saw coming down the hill in that sequence. So there's a lot of detail here. And also the humor. You know, this is a very dark theme. Um, but it's not approached with cynicism, uh, it's kind of approached with this, this extra earnestness. One of the designers, John Hare, called it the most respectful game about people dying in war that's ever been made. Uh, what you make of that is up to you. But I think there's a combination of these quite high-minded conceptual ideas with this very pared-down mechanical stuff, stylization, miniaturization. There's some shared ideas here. Tokyo 42 is a very modern game. I'm not trying to say that it's small. In fact, it's got this huge scope, this vast open world full of stories, secrets, side missions, and collectibles that you can go and explore. It's been an enormous effort for just two people making this game to create something on this scale. But that personal touch and that attention to detail and that refinement of the mechanics from a small team, I think really does go back to those older British games. That's one of the reasons I was really happy that Tokyo 42 received some funding from UK Games Fund as well as us here at Mode 7, just because I think it exemplifies some of those ideas I've been banging on about through this whole video. Some of the stuff I'm trying to convey is very difficult to convey on video. You're going to have to wait to play the game, to experience it for yourself, to see if everything I'm saying about the combat gels with you. 
But having said that, we're going to continue to share raw gameplay footage like this. This is one of the early missions in the game, and we're going to continue doing everything we possibly can to give this game the best chance. We're bringing it to consoles, we're localizing it into a load of languages, we're getting it rated in loads of territories, just to give everyone the maximum chance of playing it, because we think it's an important game. And if you like it, if you like these ideas, then please do continue to share these videos and discuss the game. That makes a huge difference to us. We don't have a big marketing budget. We don't have the resources to do the kind of PR that bigger publishers do. So we're relying on doing stuff like this, putting the ideas out there and hoping that people appreciate them. Thanks so much for your support so far. I'll be back soon with some more Tokyo 42 just as soon as I can. Thank you.